Well, everyone, iOS 16 Beta 2 just officially came out, and we're going to take a look at it on one iPhone, my iPhone 12 Pro. Fortunately, I am in a battery test on all my other ones, so I won't be able to individually install it. But I want to talk about some of the changes, bug fixes, improvements, even the battery life, even the battery test that I'm doing right now on Beta 1. And what I will definitely tell you is this is a really, really big update. For Beta 2, I mean, this is coming at 1.79 gigabytes, which is a massive size. The previous update, if we kind of find it, I don't even know where it's at, this one was 5.34 gigabytes on my 12 Pro. So for this one to be a Beta 2 and for it to be this big in size, just screams to me that Apple really, really changed up a ton of different things within this update, which is really good. So this is the battery, so this is the size of this specific update. Now, I do want to go ahead and showcase to you guys the amount of things that have changed within this specific update. So these are the release notes for Beta 2. And you can see iOS 16 and iPadOS 16 Beta 2, these specific changes that happen with this update. And if you guys can kind of just see, if I'm scrolling through, you can just see how many things have been fixed with this update, as well as how many issues that we're having with Beta 1. Now, if I go and scroll through here, if I just bring this all the way down, I mean, you can see there are just so many changes and bug fixes that we don't have the time to, you know, go through each individual one. But there were issues with AirPlay, with accessibility, there were, you know, CarPlay issues, there were SharePlay issues, a really weird issue where the app library wouldn't show up after reboot. And that was now fixed or that was being had before, but that is now fixed. There were a ton of App Store type of issues, app tracking transparency, Apple ID issues. So this specific update, what this just screams to me, is that Apple is, you know, proactively trying to fix these specific issues as they come. Now, it's beta 2, people were saying it wasn't going to come out till like mid-July, but the fact that we got this beta so soon pretty much tells me that we are expecting to see multiple betas within probably even the next month. I think we could be on beta 4 by the time, you know, mid-July comes out. So I think that's going to be another really big thing that's going to happen. As you can see, there were home screen issues, tons of other issues. Here's that app library one I was talking about before. And so the list just keeps going on and on. We can be here literally every single day talking about each individual update and change. But one thing that's really one thing I'm really looking forward to with this update is the stability. On beta 1 actually, on all these iPhones that I have right here, beta 1 was a pretty good update for the most part. Starting from my iPhone 10, I had a pretty strong feeling that an update like this wasn't going to be perfect, and it really wasn't, but on every iteration of iPhone that I've installed this update on, I've actually had a pretty good experience to be honest. Even on this battery test that I'm doing here, I found that the iPhone 10 and some older iPhones are doing much better than some of the newer iPhones too, which is really interesting. Now with this specific update on beta 2, when it comes down to the battery life, we haven't been able to test it yet. It's only been like a day, not even a day, it's been like an hour since this update's been out, not even 42 minutes. So it's going to be a little bit of you know time before we do get this next iteration of you know battery tests and everything. I'm not too sure if there's another build number for this update. So if we can see right here, you can see right here, this is the build number. If we make our way over to uh, like the iPhone 10 right here, so we can see right here, there is a little bit of a difference with the build number. So probably expecting to see that. I don't think it's going to be like a crazy big deal or anything, but it is one of those things to keep in mind. Now, on top of that, we will say in the stability standpoint, I'm expecting beta two to be a little bit more stable just because Apple did go ahead and fix up a lot of the problems that we had before. Personally, kind of looking back on beta one, I didn't really have too many crazy issues if I'm being honest. All these iPhones here are still on beta one. And to be honest, even stemming from my iPhone 10, I didn't really have crazy issues. There were random glitches, random stuff that happens all the time, but we expect that with the beta. You know, anytime we've had a beta, it's been pretty much not, you know, the most stable thing ever, which I think is totally okay. So in this specific situation, with every single beta that comes out, it's going to get more and more stable. And probably with beta two, I think this is just because of the sheer, just the amount of changes and, you know, bug fixes Apple made, I'm honestly kind of looking forward to it. So that kind of covers up for the most part, the bug fixes, any changes that have basically happened at a high level, a little bit of the battery life standpoint as well, as well as you know what it's going to be looking like in the next several months within beta two and the future betas of iOS 16. So that kind of covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.